Hello everyone, I just want to give a quick tutorial on how you can get this film look in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a grain overlay over this footage. I am going to provide a link in the description for free of course, it's a Google Drive link where you can download three different levels of grain that I created myself. So it's going to be light, medium and heavy. I'm going to go into the overlay folder here and as you can see this is the files that you're going to get for free in the download in the description below. As you can see when I click on them, this is the heavy grain. And it's just a uh, grey black white overlay uh, that you can just add over your footage. I think I'm going to use the medium or is this the light? Don't actually know. Yeah, this is the medium. I think I'm going to go for medium and I'm just going to drag that and I'm going to cut it. There we go. And you're going to go down here to the composite mode. You're going to go from normal to color dodge. And as you can see, if I zoom in here, you can see this beautiful grain effect here. I may disable so you can see you made it smooth and then you can see it adds and also as you can also see it adds some brightness to the footage and of course if you think that it's too much you can go to the opacity and just lower it a bit there's quite a few other modes you can try for yourself but I personally think color dodge does it the best I'm gonna maybe lower the opacity just a bit there Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the color grading section. We're going to go to the clip section and make sure we're not color grading the grain footage. We're going to go to the actual footage. And the first note I'm going to do is just a normal correction note. I'm just going to label it. Uh, there we go. Correction. I'm actually very bad at typing, especially because this mic is over the keyboard. So yeah, I'm just going to look around for anything that I can correct. I think this shot is quite... Okay, I'm actually fine with the white balance, I'm fine with the um, overall... Yeah, I'm fine with the overall white balance, I'm not going to add any sharpness or remove any sharpness. So I'm going to make a new node now. And I'm going to call this one Contrast. And of course here I'm going to deal with the contrast, I'm just going to add a bit... Make sure I'm happy with the black levels. And remember this is going to be a nostalgic foam warm look. So I don't want to add too much contrast. I'm actually fine with some of the wire, the, with the blacks not being totally black. I think overall I'm happy with this. And now I'm going to add a parallel node because I want to actually add a box here where I make this section by the wall a bit darker, this one here. So I'm going to go Alt P and I'm going to name this con Contrast 2.0. So now with the second contrast node, I'm going to create a square mask. Okay, computer was lagging. A square mask, I'm going to rotate it just a bit because I don't want it to be perfect like this. I just wanted to have like a small line here of extra contrast to guide the eye a bit to the brighter area. I'm going to make it very soft. Very soft. And I'm just going to go over to the primaries and I'm going to drop the lift. Not too much. Just a little bit. Nice. Just a very slight effect. Okay, next node. I am going to now... Saturation, sorry. Saturation. For the first saturation level, I just want to make it, say, 90. There we go, it's quite saturated. I might add another node and add another layer of saturation. From previous tests, I think doubling the node instead of just adding all the saturation on one node, I feel it looks better. But for now, I think this is enough. So I'm going to go Alt S and I'm going to now create the look. So I'm just going to call this the look. And immediately what I like to get rid of is yellow. I like to make it into a more of a creamy I don't know, warm or almost like veering towards pink. I don't know exactly know what color it is, but I'm going to go to the curves, go to hue versus hue, and I'm going to isolate from almost green and going into red, and I'm going to click by the yellow, and I'm slowly going to move it. As you can see, I can make it pink, purple, but I'm going to slightly move it towards the creamy color. As you can see, this is a way more filmic. What I realize is with a lot of the film stocks or the film looks that I like, it takes away yellow and it makes it almost like a creamy color. So let me, let me disable and enable. You can see it takes away the yellow and makes it almost like a orangish, creamish look. 
It's a bit too much though, so I'm gonna make it a bit less. Here. Still a bit too much. There we go. Okay, so now the next is we're gonna do the bloom, and luckily for us, glow is free in the free version of Adventure Resolve. So Alt S, I'm gonna call this glow, and I'm gonna drag glow onto here, and then I'm just gonna make the spread way more because with bloom, it's it's more of like a very spread out effect. I'm gonna make it like that. I'm gonna zoom out so I can see what's happening. I don't want to lose all the highlight, all the. I don't want to lose all the information in the window. I would like to kind of have a hint of what's happening outside, which is it kind of adds depth to the shot. So I don't want to blow out everything. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see like that because I want to kind of spread. I don't want to spread too much, but I want to kind of have pockets of light. Then I'm gonna use the gain, which basically is the f the actual intensity of the brightness, and I'm gonna bring it down until I can see like a a hint of what's outside. You can still kind of see what's happening, but if I disable the glow, it does get rid of some of the information, but I, as long as there's something. Okay, and now, Alt S, and the next effect is going to be Halation. I'm going to call this Halation. Okay, of course, as you know, Halation is not free, so we're going to have to use some some MacGyvering or some magic. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to composite mode and I'm gonna go to screen. And immediately that makes this brighter, but you don't need to worry about that. So the first thing you're gonna go, you're gonna do, is you're gonna go to the primaries and you're gonna go to gain. And you see this little dot here, you're gonna take it and you're gonna drag it to a warmer look, almost like a red, orangish, I would say there. Then you're gonna go to the curves. You're gonna go to the first option, curves custom. You're gonna click here. And you're gonna drag and what this does is it basically only affects the highlights so if you bring it down it only is going to the effect that you add to the halation is only gonna uh, appear in the highlights and as you can see nothing is happening but look at look at this area here when I go to the sharpness and I make it blurry beautiful you can see you have this beautiful almost perfect halation effect you can see here on the outlines here I really, really, really like this look. It adds like a warmth to the highlight as well. And these three different areas is essentially going to be your control areas. So if you want to like mess with it a bit, you can, you can, you can make it very spread here. You can, you can have a lot of freedom here. You can move this up and down. Then if you want to maybe go to the curves and add a bit more control, you can like, oh, there we go. And as you can see, you can make it a bit more intense here. You can, you can really mess with it with all these different controls. Just make sure not to overdo it, unless that's what you're going for, you want to kind of make it over the top. I'm going to fiddle around with it a bit more. I'm going to go here, I'm going to spread it a bit more. And then I'm going to go to curves and I'm going to make it a bit more intense. There we go. Oh, I really, really like, especially this area here, it's, it's beautiful. I think we can make it a bit more saturated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the look node down here. Let me bring it here. And I'm going to Alt S and I'm going to add another saturation node. I'm going to play around until I think I don't want to, until I think it's too much. Here we go. Beautiful. I really, really like this look. And yeah, as you can see, we have some nice, um, we have some nice elation. We have the glow here without getting rid of too much detail. And if you zoom in, I don't know if YouTube compression is going to allow you to see this. Let's zoom into a random section, as you can see here. And if you play, you have some nice realistic animated grain as well that you can get in the description. And if you want to do what I did in the thumbnail, which I think I'm going to do in the thumbnail, where you can go to, you can click on the footage, right click open infusion page and then you can go to the square mask drag it in connect it to the footage then go to width and height and just go all the way out then zoom into the corner here and then you can go to border no, corner radius round it a bit go back to the editing tab zoom out and then you can maybe zoom out here there we go 
And yeah, that's more or less how I created this free film look in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Uh, thank you for your time, and yeah, bye.